That was a long one right there. I believe that was a rat snake. I literally had to jump over him when I was in my first mile. I jumped probably five feet in the air, guys. You know, running's already high heart rate kind of deal, especially trail running. Gotta watch your steps, but then we gotta watch out for snakes. That is just elevated adrenaline. I gotta get back to my run. Don't wanna use these snakes as an excuse to slow down. Honey, I'm eating salmon and avocados. How good is that for me? <sighs> Approved. I'm on the winning team with you, honey. That's pretty good. This is my breakfast, by the way. Real cherries. Have you guys ever had just real cherries? Oh, but she's been getting them lately, and uh, they're really good. I just have piss. So why the healthy eating? Why the workout, LFG? Why are you showing us all this? You know, guys, it's been a year since brain tumor diagnosis. Comparable to last year, also a stressful time. Um, summer, for the, the fishing industry, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of uh, fishing to be had. Just go hard every summer. And um, I've been trying to make it a point, get more sleep, exercise, all those things, uh, reduce my stress. All those things will, will um, reduce the growth of a tumor and just general ailments in your body. These past couple weeks, I've been waking up with some headaches, having some issues right there uh, behind my eye. So I'm just doing my best to try to stay healthy with the help of my lovely wife and start to get in a routine. And I gotta say, stressful as moving is. Probably one of the most stressful things you can do. Um, being up here, being around the woods, being around the water has been a, tr a tremendous help just to be able to relax. I love going on trail runs. I love just even walking in the woods, going down in the water. It just feels like where I'm supposed to be. But this week I know is gonna be very stressful. It's a lot of late nights, early mornings. Um, you're just on your feet all day, not really any exercise. So that's why I was trying to get some in while I could. And we gotta leave here pretty soon to head to the airport. I got a couple of honeydew things I gotta do, a couple of last minute packing things. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna finish my fish breakfast with my cherries and get to work. Guys, look at this door. Almost rubbing at the top and then there's a gap right there. And then there's like, not a gap right there. If you're familiar with Texas, you know the foundation around just about everybody's homes does shift every once in a while. So the ground is like literally like a prune. It shrinks, expands, just depending uh, on the water. So it's actually gotten to the point where the door lock is extremely hard to lock. So this is called a bastard file. Extremely useful, these little bastard files, let me tell you. And that's actually what they're called. I'm not making that up. You can use it to sharpen lawnmower blades, shovels, any kind of blades really, like big rough blades. forgot to tell you. Huh. Guess what I saw on the trail today. Oh no. What? Another danger noodle. What kind? I think it was a big rat snake. But I almost jumped over it. <laughs> it was right in the middle in some bushes. It's because you were running. I was running. It wasn't days. prepared for me. I keep thinking one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna step on one. Did you have your machete? I did have my machete, but it was a rat snake. It eats rats, so. I mean, we have rats chewing our house, so I let him go. You know yeah, what I mean? Well, it could easily have been not a rat snake. <laughs> could have been. Look at that belly. The belly. <laughs> the, uh, this is our couch from our old house. That's going in the nursery. This whole wall will just be like a couch, a big couch thing. I just got sent a picture of what the booth is looking like at Favorite right now. This year we got a big RV bus. Look at that thing. Right now as we speak, Guggen Bates is being assembled. It's a proud moment, y'all. We've been working on this a long time. I can't wait to get down there. Just feel the energy, the excitement of all this great stuff that's going on. One of the last things to pack up, right here, the podcasting station. The mobile podcasting unit, or MPU. One of my old Pelican boxes I decided to convert into this deal uh, for the squad. 
So we've got our soundboard, all of our cords, mics, stands, it's all in there, ready to go. So we'll be using this while we're down there and then you guys can tune in the podcast and see what was going on down there at iCast. Honey, let's go. It's time. It's time to go to iCast. I can't go in. I gotta eat. <laughs> and you're done eating. <laughs> hey, let's go. Hang on. You gotta eat. <laughs> Ten minutes later, still eating. The Come last on. phase of pregnancy. You're you're growing like a daggum watermelon. Don't eat watermelon seeds. Why? Because you grow a watermelon. It's a pregnancy joke. Oh. <laughs> Gotta work on that delivery. You can pretend to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the dude's looking a little shaggy. Maybe a little on top. Just don't get it too short. I'm gonna go get a haircut. <laughs> I'm about to go to Florida in the swamps. I don't I don't need to be slowed down by my hair. <laughs> New dude. <laughs> I need gonna, to be nimble and quick. You're gonna feel successful. Ready. Yes. Hey! All clipped up. Yeah! I came over here to the World famous Great Clips. I need to get a haircut. Is that OSG probably... approved? It is. I like it. I wonder if Emery's going to have like hair when she's coming out. That's weird. That to think about. Weird. I wonder what color hair she's going to have. What if, she, what if she's like a redhead? Redheads run in my family. Yeah. We got some of mine too. I'm going to have to like exit and then do a little loop de loop. Flying out. Everyone always asks where you are. Why don't I come with you? Well, you can't now. <laughs> you're, you're... <laughs> That's true. I cannot fly at this point. <laughs> what is the date? Like, when are you not supposed to fly as a pregnant lady? I think it's your entire third trimester. What if you just, like, gave birth in the air? <laughs> I would be petrified <laughs> being be born too. on a floor of peanuts on an airplane. <laughs> That'd be terrible. I have little butterflies. It's a, it's like an exciting nervous. This is big moments in, in life, you know, launching a brand. This is my 10th iCast, honey. A decade. A decade of coming to these things. When I first went, I was a college fishing ambassador. I was just a young little puppy. One of the first people I ever met in the industry was Ray Mursky. He grabbed me by my jersey. I had an A&M fishing jersey on. He played for A&M. He graduated in like 40 like 1949 or something like that and anyway he went he was like one of the owners of strike king okay. you know big at the time he eventually died in a, in a car wreck like a year later he was one of the first guys i got to meet here i am years later now look at you now you're gonna yeah. be grabbing onto those young yeah. fellows be like hey son hey son get in the game big moments here guys it's time to get on the airplane though Gotta well, say goodbye to my sweet OSG. Well, honey, I'm proud of you. I'm excited Thank for you. Thank you. I will keep you updated about my life's events. Good. I love you. I love you too. Make sure to keep little Emmy safe. Keep the home fires burning at the treehouse. We are all safe here. And uh, I'll see you in a few days. Go do work. So in. Here we go. I'm ready. There's Lunker's TV behind me. There he goes. Hey, we're just, we're just random people. Right? <laughs> that sums it up right there. We are here in sunny Orlando. I should say humid Orlando. As soon as you step off the plane, you feel like you got to change your underwear. My, my thing stuck to my leg. Anyway, we're heading to the house to meet everybody and uh, get this get this party going. I'm a little nervous. I think the camera lens is actually fogging up a little bit. Jeez, because it's so humid down here. Anyway, we got this cool house we're going to be staying at all week. This is the first night. We're just chilling. We're going over game plans. We're trying to get ready. Uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. We're going to do the meetup with you guys. The first 100 of you are getting a bag of Guggen Bates, the reserve, the special reserve. So that's going to be cool. I'll take you guys along for that adventure, but for now, we're going to sign it off. We got business stuff to attend to. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications, the ding dongs, as we call them here on this channel, because I don't think subscribing really even gives you notifications anymore. Hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are, fishing freaks, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. All right, quick break.
Oh. Time to hit him on the squat.